So we're going to focus in this video on how to draw shape functions in the canvas. In the previous video, we had this long quote here, and we had all of these different shapes that we created with the lines. And if you would look at this quote, maybe you would say, well, look at this. This is very redundant quote. We're going to draw multiple items here. But why are we doing that? That would not make any sense. So you're absolutely correct. So this is now what we're going to do is we're going to build them or convert them into a function. This is what we call a shape function. So basically what we're doing is we make a shape. We want to activate that function or trigger that function and then draw the shape we want. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I just call comment this all out. For now, do not delete any of them. We'll be needing this code later on. However, I want to just grab only one for now and start showing you that. So I'm going to put in here and then just comment this out. All right, save that, refresh. So now we have only one red dot. So if you look at our variables here, we have basically four variables that are essential for this to create a circle shape which is the color the line width and then we have here the starting point and the ending point or basically x and y and if we want a circle this here or all of this here should be consistent and we don't want to do any adjustments on that but we could maybe if we want a different radius but for now i want to keep the shape all same and consistent so what we're going to do now is just going to convert this into a function. So if I say here function, and let's call this function a circle or draw circle. And here, I'm going to do this and just cut out everything and put it in there for the proper indentation. There you are. So if I save this now, refresh, nothing happens. The reason why nothing happens is we didn't trigger the function to be activated. We have created a function. The function is on standby. So what we're going to do now here, yeah, we just will type in here draw circle. And then we save that, refresh. Now you can see we have created this item. And this is very nice. But of course, this is still hard coded. So what I want to do now is I want to soft code these four variables here. So to do that, what we're basically doing is we're going to just put in what we call parameters. And these parameters are basically these here. And these are what we call the argument values. So what I'm going to do here is to put in basically the argument values. And here I'm going to put in the parameters. So let's define first what are the parameters we need. So the first thing that we probably will want to have is the x value. We want the y value. That is these two here. Comma. What more would we like to have? The width or the line width. I'll just call it the width for now. And finally we have here what we say the color. So these are the parameters now. So let's put in the arguments. This is basically the arguments are referred to the, the solid values that we're going to use. So for the X, we know X would be 200. The Y is 300. And then put up another comma here. What we expect more is the width of the line. It will be a value of 10. And finally, the color. And in this case, my color was a constant variable. But it, if you have a uh, value, for example, like a string value, like red, you can do it like this, but if you have a constant variable without the quotation, of course, because it's a variable, not a string. So if I do this, and if I save this, nothing really happens here. And the reason why is, even though we have this here, we didn't put them activated in here. So what I'm going to say here, well, you might say, well, hold on, I do see it being drawn here. So let me explain. If I make this 500, save, we should go down or more to the, sorry, more to the right. But if I refresh here, do that, it doesn't do anything because we didn't activate yet the value. So I'm going to convert this here, make this the Y value, get the width, put it on line width, and find it the color, assign it here. So if I save this now, refresh, you can see now it jumps because now we have a 500, or the width of 500, or sorry, not the width, the X value is 500. So with this, let's put this back on 200, we can create now multiple shapes with this tiny short code without having to duplicate this here. And this one was, of course, our starting point. So let's do our ending point path as well. So I'm going to copy all of this. Or sorry, we don't even have to copy all of that, sorry. What we can do here is just copy the draw circle. And then let's look at the values we have. Color red, all right, that's the same. Line width is same, and an X and Y is different. 700 by 300. Now if I save this, there you are. And so we can, of course, draw many, many items. We can even do this here. 
500 and we can say your color blue let's save that refresh and you can see you now 500 pixels and blue and this is absolutely phenomenal because now you can really really start making it more concise all right so this is the most important one and in the next video what we're going to do because this will be a nice challenge here is to just convert all of these tags into a nice function